Hi, welcome to your direct variation video. This is part two, um, which is where we're focusing on graphing. So you'll be able to use direct variation equations, which is y equals kx, to graph. All right, first problem we have here. Um, I looked up online for the cost of tickets for Rogers Movie Theater. $28 for four tickets. Um, so what we're going to have to do is first write our equation. Um, and in order to write our direct variation equation, we have to know what k is, because it's y equals kx. Um, k we know is many different things. The one thing we know um, is that it's slope, it is rate, it is unit rate, it is y over x. Um, so we can take and find our unit rate. So $28 divided by 4 tickets will give me 1 ticket being seven dollars. So my equation then that I'm going to use is y equals seven x. The that's the first step is to be able to write um, that equation. Once you write your equation you can make a table x and y. x is your tickets and then y is the cost. Um, and using your equation you're going to insert in 4x so x has to be 0. We need to have 1. We can pick whatever other numbers we want. I'm going to pick 1, 2, and 4. Um, then using our equation, we can plug in for x. So this number is going in for the x. So I have 7 times 0 is 0. So my answer then, my coordinate is 0, 0. Um, then I do the same thing for 1. So I have 7 times 1, which is 7. So my x is 1 and my y is 7. Same thing, 7 times 2 is 14, so my x is 2, my y is 14. And then 7 times 4 is 28, x is 4, y is 28. Now that I have my table filled out, I know my coordinates now, um, so I'm going to use that to make a graph. Um, we've already identified that X is your tickets and Y is your money. And we're just going to pick, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and then I'm going to count, I'm going to skip. You can count really by whatever you want. If you want to count by twos, you can, um, threes, fours, whatever seems reasonable to you. I'm going to skip. A line and count by sevens. 14, 21. So I'm skipping a line in between each one. And then now I'm going to plot them. So 0, 0 was my first, which is right here. Then 1, 7, 2, 14, 4, 28. And I know that I could keep going if I wanted to, um, but as you can see, this makes, oops, I messed up. That is 3, 4, 28. Um, and you can see that that makes a straight line. Um, and using that graph, we can see, oh, our missing point there for 3 was 21. Um, as but um, you don't have to know that, but it's good to know. Um, and that would continue on. Um, because this is a straight line and it does go through zero, we know that it is direct variation. We also knew that from our equation. That is the end of your video. Thank you for watching.